So, Mass Effect Andromeda is an action role playing video game which was developed by BioWare and published by EA. The game was released worldwide on the March of 2017. Mass Effect Andromeda is the fourth entry in the Mass Effect series after Mass Effect 3 which was released in 2012. So you guys have clicked this video for a reason, to get help in running Mass Effect Andromeda on your low spec PC. So here are the minimum requirements for the game. You need an Intel Core i5-3570, 8GB of RAM, Nvidia GTX 660 and at least 55GB of free space. If you don't have these requirements and are struggling to run the game on your PC, then you are in the right place. Today I am going to be showing you guys how you can run Mass Effect Andromeda on your low spec PC with a decent appreciable FPS without using any patch or other third party software. So let's get straight into it. So before I move on with the actual setting tweaks, what I would like you guys to do is uninstall all unwanted apps and games. This can be done under the Programs tab in Control Panel. Select the program you want to remove from your PC and click on Uninstall. And the next thing you guys have to do is to disable unwanted startup programs. This can be done by opening Task Manager and disabling programs under the Startup tab. Just select the program you don't want to show up during startup and click on Disable. So the next step basically helps you to adjust your CPU for better performance. So for this you need to open Control Panel. Under control panel go to system and security. Click on system and then click on advanced system settings. Click settings under performance and adjust for best performance. Then click apply and click ok. So now that you are done with all of that, let's move on to the actual in-game setting tweaks. So the first thing you need to do in-game is to head over to settings. Select video output and reduce the resolution to the lowest possible, that is 1280 by 720. After that, turn off VSync, high dynamic range and triple buffering, and set the frame buffer format to compressed 32 bits. Then apply these settings and head over to graphic settings. Under graphic settings, turn off film grain and chromatic aberration and change the overall quality to custom. Change the resolution scale mode to custom and reduce resolution scale to 65. If you have a really low end PC then you can go down to 50 but do not go lower than 50. I repeat do not go lower than 50 cause the game is going to look damn ugly and it just becomes unplayable. Even if there is a performance increase the game just becomes so pixelated that is the quality reduces so much that it just becomes unplayable. So after that you can see all the settings are in low. Turn off ambient occlusion. Then apply these settings and restart the game. So before I move on, I recommend you guys to download and install Notepad++. I've left a link for downloading Notepad++ in the description. So do download it. It just helps in editing the files in a much easier way. So next step. Go to My Computer, Documents, BioWare, Mass Effect Andromeda, Save. Under Save, right click on ProfOps Profile and edit with Notepad++. In ProfOps Profile, you can change Anistropic Filter and Fast HDR to 0. So select GST Render Anistropic Filter and change it from 1 to 0. Similarly, select GST Render Fast HDR and change it from 1 to 0. After you are done with that, you can bring down the resolution scale to about 50. We had kept it at 65 in game, so let's just assume you have a really low end PC and let's bring it down to 50, that is 0 0.50. So select GST Render dot resolution scale and change it to 0 0.50. After you are done with that, save the file and exit Notepad++. So after you are done with that, then you are good to go. Hopefully there will be an increase in performance and by that I mean increase in frame rates. 
So here is a short gameplay video of how the game runs on my PC after all the setting tweaks. You ready? What's wrong? It caught him from falling. The way things are going today? Hope I won't need this. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttles. Those books out there are floating. Terra Incognita. Uh, what the hell is this? Come on, we gotta get through it. This is crazy! Welcome to Habitat 7! So after all of the setting tweaks, I managed to get an average of 20 to 25 FPS. The lowest FPS that the game went down to was around 12 FPS. The game isn't really optimized that well for PC, so the maximum FPS I could get was about 30 FPS. And all these frame rates are without recording. With recording, the average FPS dropped to about 15 to 20, but it was still playable. So. If this video was helpful, don't forget to smash that like button. Let's aim for 20 likes. Do comment down below if you are still facing any problems in running the game and I'll try to help you to fix it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I don't care what you guys do with that red color button, it needs to get clicked, somehow. So with that being said, this is Death Breacher and I'm signing out. Thanks for watching.